In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can use error bars in Power BI to visualize targets. And if you follow my videos, you probably have seen, I recently also recorded a video about how to dynamically change the color when a target was hit or not. And I'm using ducks to do that. And this video, we also visualize targets. But we're using this arrow bar so you don't have to use ducks. So let's go into Power BI. I'm going to show you how you can do that. Here in Power BI, you see I have a column chart where I have like this value versus target by month. Uh, I have like my current value. Oh, it's there. I have my current value and I have the target here. And looking at it one by one, it's quite easy to see if the target was hit or not. But looking at the whole picture, it's quite tricky. So I want to use error bars to show where the target is compared to like my current value. So how are we going to do that? I'm going to make a copy of this visual, put it here. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I remove the target value. I only want to see my current value here. And then I go to error bars. And there, the first thing we need to do is enable them. So you don't see them if you don't enable them. You could put in data here, but if you don't enable them, they are not visible. So first thing I do is enable them. Then I get all kinds of options. And then I put in the upper and lower bound my target. And this case this was sales last year so you see now in the visual we see these tiny lines added and this is not that visible at the moment so i go to bar and now i can format this and first i make this a little more visible give it a different color also border size i make this really really visible just to show you the effect and I could also choose the markers at the moment that's the em dash and I can increase the size a lot so now it's like really this thick line there so this is quite easy to see we see that we didn't hit the target here here we see our line is inside of our column so we did hit the target here I also like this circle visual I like this to show the distance to the target of course it's not as precise as a line and it's also not as precise as adding a line visual in there but for an easy way to see if a target was hit or not this works really great i think and then of course we can make all kinds of changes i don't like that blue that much of my column so i could give it so i could give it a different color and i can make all these kinds of changes of course one thing is because we only have like one value in here we can't activate the legend so you should put somewhere the information that these in this case circles or lines that you see are actually the target and this is sales uh, what you could do is you could put it in the subtitle and you could say circles target values for example so people that are looking at it actually know what they're looking at and this is it it's very simple it's really just activating the error bars and setting the upper and lower bound that's important to the same value and then you can just use these markers and visualize your target that way i hope this helps let me know